Hey dudes, here's how to make an Aurora Borealis in Inkscape. First, let's draw a Bezier curve that looks like an Aurora. Go to your Bezier curve tool and let's make some Aurora Borealis lines. Let's go click and drag to make those things. I'm just making everything like a big thing here. And double click and we will have the Bezier curve you wanted. But Let's refine this a bit and using the node tool so it looks a little more better looking. Because right now it looks uh, a little dodgy. Now while your stroke is selected, let's uh, change the stroke style a little bit and let's change it to maybe about 3 pixels. While your Bezier line is selected, go to path and stroke to path. Now it turns your line Bezier curve into a path, which is basically a shape. Then let's straighten up the ends of these and select those using the node tool and go to align and distribute and like this to make sure everything is just perfectly vertical. Let's do that on the other end. Select so both these and click this again. Once both ends of your Bezier curve path thing is uh, perfectly vertical, let's go to fill and stroke, go to fill because now this is technically a shape now and no longer a stroke. Let's change this to a green color. Now we can change this a bit. Technically you can use any color you want, but I want to be a little more Aurora Borealis like, right? So you start with green, apparently that's the color of Aurora Borealis or Aurora Australis. Okay, let's make a lighter green, but make the opacity a little bit lower. So we're going for maybe 75% opacity. Then go to your move tool again and duplicate that Aurora thing. Control D, then hold control and move it up as high as you want it to be. Now I'm just gonna be uh, about this high. Now change the color of that into lighter purple, which in my country we usually call it violet. Anyway, let's change the opacity even lower, which is about, let's make this 15%. Then select both of your Aurora lines, then go to extensions, generate pen path, and interpolate. And let's check the live preview so we can see what is going to happen. As you can see, I changed the interpolation steps to 50 and I also need to interpolate the style. That's very important. Let's change the interpolation steps into 100. All right, now that looks way better. Then if you're satisfied with it, click apply. Now once it's applied and close this. Now we have this beautiful Aurora Borealis ribbon thing. Now let's move this a bit, then move these uh, original lines here. As you can see, it's a little dodgy because there's a lot more lines. Technically, you can add more interpolation steps to the Aurora, so it looks way smoother. But I have a little technique, which is a little cheaty. Aurora Borealis isn't really like, doesn't have perfect lines and stuff. It's a little more like uh, clouds in a sense. So let's select this Aurora now and let's go to the blur. Let's increase the blur to maybe just one point. As you can see, uh, it's a little more smoother. Yeah, and then you're done. That's how to make an Aurora Borealis in Inkscape. So anyways, dudes, I'm New Creator, and see you later. Oh. Hey dudes, here's how to make an Aurora Borealis. At this time of day, in this part of the country, localized entirely within your kitchen. Yes. Can I see it? No.